Irrational Numbers Theorem Let P be a prime number. If P divides A to the second power, then P divides A, where A is a positive integer. Proof Let the prime factorization of A be as follows. A is equals to P1 P2 till Pn, where P1, P2, till Pn are primes, not necessarily distinct. Therefore, A to the second power is equals to P1 P2 till Pn into P1 P2 till Pn is equals to P to the second power 1, P to the second power 2, till P to the second power n. Now, we are given that P divides A to the second power. Therefore, from the fundamental theorem of arithmetic, it follows that P is one of the prime factors of A to the second power. However, using the uniqueness part of the fundamental theorem of arithmetic, we realize that the only prime factors of A to the second power are P1, P2, till Pn. So P is one of P1, P2, till Pn. Now, since A is equals to P1, P2, till Pn, P divides A. We are now ready to give a proof that root 2 is irrational. The proof is based on a technique called proof by contradiction. Root 2 is irrational. Let us assume, to the contrary, that root 2 is rational. So, we can find integers r, and s, such that root 2 is equals to r, upon s, where r, and s, not equals to 0. Suppose r, and s, have a common factor other than 1. Then, we divide by the common factor to get root 2 is equals to a, upon b, where a, and b, are coprime. So, b root 2 is equals to a. Squaring on both sides and rearranging, we get 2b to the second power is equals to a, to the second power. Therefore, 2 divide a, to the second power. Now, by previous theorem, it follows that 2 divides a. So, we can write a, is equals to 2c, for some integer c. Substituting for a, we get 2b to the second power is equals to 4c to the second power, that is, b to the second power is equals to 2c to the second power. This means that 2 divides b, to the second power, and so 2 divides b, again using previous theorem with p is equals to 2. Therefore, A, and B, have at least 2 as a common factor. But this contradicts the fact that A, and B, have no common factors other than 1. This contradiction has arisen because of our incorrect assumption that root 2 is rational. So, we conclude that root 2 is irrational. Show that 5 minus root 3 is irrational. Let us assume, to the contrary, that 5 minus root 3 is rational. That is, we can find coprime, A, and B, where B, is not equals to 0, such that 5 minus root 3 is equals to, A, upon B. Therefore, 5 minus A, upon B is equals to root 3. Rearranging this equation, we get root 3 is equals to 5 minus A, upon B which is equals to, 5b minus a, upon b. Since a, and b, are integers, we get 5 minus a, upon b, is rational, and so root 3 is rational. But this contradicts the fact that root 3 is irrational. This contradiction has arisen because of our incorrect assumption that 5 minus root 3 is rational. So, we conclude that 5 minus root 3 is irrational show that 3 root 2 is irrational. Let us assume, to the contrary, that 3 root 2 is rational. That is, we can find coprime, A, and B, where B is not equals to 0, such that 3 root 2 is equals to, A, upon B. Rearranging, we get root 2 is equals to, A, upon 3B. Since 3, A, and B, are integers, a, 
upon 3b is rational, and so root 2 is rational. But this contradicts the fact that root 2 is irrational. So, we conclude that 3 root 2 is irrational. In the next video we will learn about rational numbers and their decimal expansions. Till then, take care and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our channel. Thank you.